Good day friends, this is Bobby here once again today with my ninth episode of the Give Me Taste. All right. So as I mentioned, like we have been going through about eight episodes and we have uh, we have gone through various timelines. And today what I wanted to bring to you was something that has happened in the political landscape of Fiji at a very early date. So in 1916, what the colonial power did was because that, that was the date when in that was a year actually when the the indenture law was abolished globally but that did not happen there in fiji it took place in on the first of jan as i mentioned yesterday first of jan 1920 but during this particular time what the colonial power wanted to do was they wanted to put a puppet between the indo fijians so you might have heard by, about a name called badri maharaj okay so badri maharaj this guy was the puppet of british and they wanted to put a person out there and he was elected into or he was appointed by the governor at that time and um, and they had a representation from the Fiji Indian community an Indian who was there who was their puppet now the rest of the crowd who was on the ground did not appreciate that particular thing what the British had done so that led to a revolt no one was able to uh, uh, about to support support him and Badri Maharaj uh, was not in a position to address the grievances of the Fiji Indian community that was there on the ground so what happened was um, people opposed that this guy who could not represent them so finally in um, in the in uh, with the support of one mr manilal magalal who had founded the indian imperial association um, the the people the people on the ground started a campaign please note that uh, manilal was a lawyer who arrived in Fiji in the year 1912 and he was observing all these things like Badri Maharaj was appointed by the governor and there was no um, nothing that was happening so it, with his support what happens is the people started started a campaign with support from Manilal a strike was launched a campaign began from the from the 12th, 15th of Jan 1920 to the 12th of Feb 1920 which resulted in a riot what happened Manilal was blamed for that that campaign their demand was better uh, lifestyle better accommodation and and Manilal Manilal was criticized by the colonial power and what happened he was deported back to India now saying so there was a, a there was no leadership there in Fiji India uh, by among the Fiji Indians then suddenly there was another strike that happened in the month of July in 1920 21 and a person by the name Sadhu Vasisht Muni he took ownership of that and he led the campaign and the campaign demanded for a higher pay rise for the colonial sugar refinery workers now this is also known as CSR and what was the demand the other demand was immediate return of Manilal who had deport who was deported in 1920 and the release of all the, the prisoners from that from the 1920 campaign what happened the result was that Mr. Muni was also deported from Fiji now these things went as it was going there was another area that you need to be uh, focused on there was at that time in the early 1920s there was a, a clash between the hindus and the muslims out there so they were they had a strained relation and suddenly from there two major hindu support had originated a big campaign erupted so in early 1920s that is um, two major hindu movements found support within Fiji. The first one was the Arya Samaj, which was totally against the traditional Hindu um, Hinduism, which they felt like it was a superstitious belief with the element of um, of expensive rituals. Okay, that was what, uh, that's the way how it was narrated. And they also went against the, um, they, they were more open, they professed that child, they were against the child marriage, they wanted the, the ladies who were widows to be remarried and a uh, few other things that they always professed. The education of the kids, the girls, which was never unheard at that time. And they always wanted support. And there was a big movement that attracted them. But on the other hand, the Sanatana Dharma, which was the traditional orthodox wing of the Hinduism, was always like with, they always practiced the religion from, from the ancestors and, they, they, and the rituals. But saying so, they never supported child marriage because it was unheard of at that time during this particular movement of the Fiji Indians. So, so those were the two movements that were taking root. Uh, Arya Samaj and the Sanatana Dharma that were par in parallel, always clashing there in, in Fiji and always 
they made sure like they had their own set of supporters which one was the non orthodox wing which always supported um, which always supported education for the girls and they were against the uh, the superstitious beliefs and uh, expensive r rituals that were uh, associated with the other hinduism which is the sanatana dharma which was totally against what the arya samaj was practicing so on that note ladies and gentlemen i will bring more political landscape in my next episode so till then what do we always say stay cool stay blessed and lots of love from bobby phillips here in sydney and let's march our way towards the 14th of may which is the kirmit day which is 143rd year at this moment lots of love take care and god bless love you